Hey, how you doing? I want to share with you probably the biggest game changer for me in WordPress website design. I'm not talking about page building because I love Elementor. I'm talking about scroll sequence. Just have a look what we can see over here. Okay, you're probably going, well, it's just an image of a cyberpunk robot with cinematic scroll animation. Yeah, so what? What does that do? This is the beta beta version of scroll sequence. And it's only going to get better and better. I'm not affiliated to them, by the way. I just want to let you know, I am just showcasing what I think is an amazing, amazing, amazing product. Watch what happens when I scroll up and down the page. We all know about scrolling effects, right? With Elementor, you know, you might add in an image or something. And when you scroll up and down, it might move up. It might move left and right, blur, transparency, rotate. We're aware of that. Just watch what this image does. Stare at it. Just watch. I'm scrolling down, people. I'm scrolling down. What? I mean, I'm scrolling down. I'm scroll. What, what is this? What is this dark magic? Look at this. This is incredible. And as I scroll back up, it reverses. I scroll down. I stop. I'll go back up. Look at that. I mean, this is just. This, I mean, look. look this is crazy, right? This is super crazy. What this does, it takes a video that you can have a video from your phone or a video you made somewhere else. You got to use another bit of kit, which I'll show you to basically convert your video into images. Scroll sequence will then import those images into WordPress to allow you to set up a section where you can do something like this. Um, now, the bit with the text is a little bit more fiddly to do, but they are going to improve and work on that. But I'm telling you, the images totally rocks. So let's just explore this, okay? Firstly, this is a WordPress plugin. Secondly, it is free, okay? It is totally free. So you can have this for free. It says there's a 14 day free trial. That's the pro trial, but it is free, okay? If you want the pro version where you want some more features, and here you go, you can see what the features are, okay? Where you wanna do this on loads more pages rather than just one or two, you know, things like that, then you can pay for the um, $49.99 per year package, okay? Or you can have a lifetime deal. And these are really, really good. And I'm telling you, when you see what this can do, I'm like, no brainer. I'm going to get the pro package, okay? This is brilliant. So let's just go into how this operates and works, okay? What you do is you go to WordPress. Okay, You can get it from their website as well, Scroll Sequence, and I'll put a link to the description. But you go over here, you do a search for scroll sequence. There's the plugin. You up, you, you install it, you activate it. Now, it's it's not been out a massive amount of time. Yes, it's only got 400 active installations, but I believe that is because a lot of people have not seen this. I mean, look at this rocket. That is a rocket. Look. I could sit here all day doing this. This is brilliant. I'm telling you, this is super cool. Right, let's go through how it works and how we use it in one of our sections for testing purposes and why I just think that you got to get this, okay, before it becomes like a thousand dollars for a year, lifetime package, whatever, I would get this. It's seriously good. I'm going to jump over to Canva and I'm going to show you an example video. This is a five second video I've taken from Canva. It's actually 27 seconds, but I've shortened it to just be five seconds. Let's just watch it, okay? Just a couple of kids fooling around, you know, He-Man and Skeletor battling going out once again. I don't know who is who, but they're fighting. Okay, so a five second video. I then convert this to an MP4 from Canva.com and it's four and a half megabytes. What I then did is go to a video to image converter to convert these into individual PNGs. You know, like the, the frames basically within here. Now there are packages you can use in the software and scroll sequence do tell you about them within their um, documentation. I've just gone for one that's free. Okay, and here's the one I used. So I'm using easygif.com. Okay, there are good things about this, there are bad things about this, in that it's only ever going to give you about 100 frames or images for your video. And if you think your video was longer and there was actually three, four, five hundred images, you might only get the first hundred. But I'm only going for a five second video. I'm not going for anything majorly too complex at the moment because um, you could do it in stages actually and be really crafty with your Canva video. Five seconds, the next five seconds, the next five seconds and take all those images. But hey, I'm waffling now. 
easygift.com. What you do is you go here, you choose your file, you hit, it uploads it, and then you just convert. And what it's going to do is spit out 100 images for you, okay? And the images, they were two and a half megabytes per image because it's PNG. So per image, uh, and by the way, the video was a 1920 by 1080 landscape video. So I got 100 images, duh, 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 okay, two and a half megabytes. So that's probably going to be pretty big. And I know you're thinking about performance as well. And don't worry, I'm going to go over that. So what I then did is once you've got those images, you go to media library and obviously you then drop the 100 images in. OK, look, here's all the images. And if I click this image and I start clicking the arrow, look, ding, 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 ding. can you see it? Oh, it's like a flick book, isn't it? Look, I'm flicking my fingers on the corner. I've always wanted to make one of those books. Anyway, so I've got all the images. Now, these were two and a half megabytes when you pull them in. I use um, I use a plugin called, where is it? Here we go, called Robin Image Optimizer, which is also free. OK, you can use this if you want. You can use other bits of software, you know, tiny PNG as well. But this was 100 images. And I didn't want to sit there doing 20, 20, 20, 20. Then again, it might have been quicker because the Robin image took about nearly an hour to fully optimize it. And that's my fault, OK, just because it was churning through them one by one. But what it did was it took a two and a half megabyte image and dropped it to be about 700 kilobytes, 700 KB. After doing that, I then converted the PNG to JPEG. You're probably thinking, my God, this is about scroll sequence. Why are we talking about images? I'm just helping you get it right to get the optimum image. So you get your, you get your video. You use easy, easygif.com to convert it from video to image. I then use whatever optimization compression software you want to compress the images. I then did PNG to JPEG. OK. Um, and by doing that, that actually drops the size even more. So if I go back to my library and I pick this first image, it was originally two and a half megabytes. OK, when it's converted into JPEG, PNG to JPEG, it dropped it to be about 700 odd kilobytes. Then when um, no, sorry, I said that wrong. When it was compressed, it went to 700 kilobytes. When I do PNG to JPEG, it dropped the size to 258, nearly one tenth of what it was when you first converted it from a video. But sorry, I've gone on a lot there. I'm just trying to get across what you can do here. And then obviously I use images to WebP where I go in and I convert all of the images in my upload folder, convert them into WebP. There's many different ways you can do this, but I find this consistently works beautifully for me, whatever website I'm working on. Right, now let's go to scroll sequence. I'm going to go over to my dashboard, okay? And what I love about this plugin, okay? And, and to the creators, you did a grand job on this, okay? Because the first question I asked them is, is this an intuitive plugin? Do I need to read like a thesis of documentation? Guess what? You get a video, number one. You get a walkthrough. Click here, click here, click here, click your images. Da, 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 da. You can't go wrong. Seriously, you just study this or watch the video. You cannot get this wrong, okay? It is super, super simple. Hey, it's scroll sequence. It just flows perfectly right. So I'm now, I'm just going to show you one I've already created, okay? So I created one called Kids Playing. What you would do is you'd click Add New Scroll Sequence, OK? And when you do that, you're going to give it a title, called it Kids Playing, OK? You can, if you want, add some text in if you want. And this is similar to the text they had on their demo page um, over here. You add some text, and which will appear or disappear as you scroll up and down. They are going to make this a lot more intuitive in how it works, because you have to do put in a bit of HTML. But you could easily do this yourself with adding in a header and overlap on the video within Elementor. But I'm focusing on the images. OK, what you then do is you click a button which says um, you'll have a button somewhere down here. That's ah, there you go. Select attachments and you click se select attachments and you click the video images. Make sure you pick, you know, pick one. Go all the way down to the last one, you know, load more. Go all the way. Make sure you get them all. Load, 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 load. load. Go down to the very last one, put your finger on shift, 
and click the last one. So you get all of them in a sequence. I'm just going to close that because we've already got them. I don't want to duplicate them, okay? And what it's going to do is it's going to bring forth, you will have noticed it said 99 there. It is actually 100 because zero is the very first one. So 100 images. And for the five second video, for the scrolling effect, that is fine for me, okay? If you then scroll down, this is where you may need the pro version. So what will happen is it will scale it to fit. What that means is it's gonna fit your screen, okay? Whether it's a desktop or a mobile phone, okay? Now that's totally fine, but when you get to the mobile, because it maintains the size of the desktop version, you might only see one third, if that, of the video. And if we've got the boy and girl running around hitting each other, we might just see the furniture because the boy and girl might be over here. So the pro version allows you to kind of do scale to fit 100%. So what that means is you've got your desktop. When you get to the mobile, it's going to shrink it to kind of like, you know, like a, almost like a contain when you do an elemental background on the mobile. And believe me, I've tested it and looked at it and it's, it works brilliantly, okay? It proper responds and, and scales it down. Right, once you've done that, you click publish. In this case, it's update, okay? What you then do is go back to your dashboard, okay? Sorry, not dashboard, go to scroll sequence. And what you then do is you pick up the short code, right? You pick up the short code and copy it. We then go over to one of our pages. And as you know, I have this fake page called email, even though this has nothing to do with email. Okay, right. So we go in and already you can see the video. What I did was I added in a blank section. Into that blank section, I added in the short code widget. And into the short code widget, I added in the short code. Yep, section, short code widget, you add in the short code, okay? And then that is it. That is, that's literally it, done, job done. So if I now go to preview changes, okay, we are now previewing the page. It is a still image, okay? I will say though, the quality is not as sharp as the MP4 video. There is a little bit of um, reduction in the quality. You can see it there, there's a little bit there. Tiny, it's not huge, but it is there. And I have found that whenever you take a video and you kind of take a screenshot or whatever, you always get a little bit of a drop in quality, but it's a tiny drop, but it, it, for me, it is not a major problem at all. Now watch what happens when I scroll up and down, okay? Now, obviously it doesn't start straight away, okay? And that's because I've got this header at the top. If like here, over here, I had my header start, I had, I, I had a transparent header, it wouldn't be so much of a problem. So just play around with your margins and your offsetting and things like that. However, when I scroll down, look, look at this. Kick, no, let's reverse, no, kick, kick, kick. Look, it goes backwards and forwards. And look, as we scroll down, you won't go to the next section. And I'm scrolling with my mouse now until you get to the last frame of the video. And when I scroll back up, I can literally rewind and forward it with my mouse button as I scroll up and down. And this is just, and I can just stop there. There you go, oh, she's hitting his teeth, the poor He-Man. Get back at her. But anyway, right, so it's, it, I, I cannot explain to you how beautiful this is. And I'm now just gonna take the size of the screen. Look, as I shrink, it scales it. And can you see here, it has now scaled it down. And look, as I scroll, I mean, obviously it's not gonna do it properly because I'm, I haven't, I'm using my desktop screen, but if I was looking on a mobile, it scales it properly. Trust me and ignore this effect you're getting here. It's because I haven't done a proper mobile size. But if you test on Responsinator or your mobile phone, it is perfectly, absolutely legit and fine, okay? I'm not making any of this up. I just found this to be a beautiful, easy to use plugin. I mean, what can I say? Get your video from your video, you know, from your mobile phone or from Canva, convert it into an MP4 from Canva, which you can do. Go to easygif.com or wherever you wanna go, convert the images, take it over into WordPress, okay? Make sure you compress the images, make sure you convert it to JPEG if you want, or go straight into WebP, add it into scroll sequence, into where were we? Let's go back a step, back a step, back a step, scroll sequence here, just add it in, okay? And um, if you've got the pro version, which you can get for free for 14 days, right? Hello? 
Try it out. If you like it, keep it. If you don't like it, you will love it. What can I say? I just think that I, I just cannot explain to you just how amazing this is. They even do tutorials for how they created their demo. So they have thought about it. And look at this. We look, I mean, you, you I mean, can you imagine if you've got like a demo product or you've got someone who's doing like a, a fashion, um, like um, catwalk or a, a, a car or a phone or a watch, um, products, people, um, maybe you're showcasing an event where everyone erupts and fireworks go off. I mean, you can now pause and rewind and play as you're scrolling up and down. And I just think this takes interactivity to another level. Now, you're probably wondering, what does this mean for performance? So, if we go back to my page over here with the header and footer, I was hitting 100 with no none of the short code added, 100% page speed insight on the mobile and the desktop. I put this in. 100 images. Yes, they may be WebP, but that's 100 images loading up. It's all above the fold, right? Desktop, 100%. Mobile, and I tested this six times, my average score was 97%. Just absorb that for a moment. We've got 100 images, 97% on the mobile. Why? Because it fetches the first few images. It gets them. And by the time you started scrolling, the others have come through as well. And it is so quick. I'm on a site ground shared host. I'm not on a supernova cloud server or anything. I'm not super fast. Well, it is pretty fast what I've got. But this is a site ground shared server. 97%. Gurjing. I can't. I can't fault what they've done here. And I and this is just a beta beta version. I can't wait to see what they do. So I say I salute the developers. I think this is a real game changer in what it can offer in terms of websites. And this is a section. It doesn't have to be at the top. It could be in the bottom. It could be over here. It could be on another page. It can be wherever I want. And I'm just going to say scroll sequence like seriously. Well, well done. All right. Um, brilliant plugin. I recommend it. Hey, go and have a go. It's free. <laughs>